Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sims 4 Asylum Challenge. We haven't actually started into the challenge yet, but right now we are creating the household members. And just a quick note, I pre-record these episodes, so a lot of the updates and some of the patches, or what are they called? Not packs. Maybe they're packs. Those little tiny mini packs that you can buy um, weren't available and I didn't purchase them. For creating the household members, I didn't want to spend too much time because you can spend so much time in create a sim and just perfecting every little detail of your sim. So I used a random number generator to help me make some of the decisions on whether they were male or female. Uh, what their aspirations were and what not. So it, um, one or two for male or female and then I just randomized their name and then I randomized the aspiration and the mini aspiration for it. For their traits, um, with this first one I just picked, I didn't pick three, I randomized three because if you hit the randomization button they all get randomized and what I did to fix this in the um, later characters is that I also used the random number generator to decide which one I eliminate to, tr um, to replace with the erratic trait so here Simon Simon, he's wants to be a mansion baron, and then we got rid of, what trait was it? The snob trait and made him erratic. So that's how we did that. And just going through randomizing sims, just trying to fill up the household. I wasn't really paying much attention to them because I wouldn't be playing any of these sims. So this one also wants to live in this city and be a city sim. And we got rid of her active trait and made her erratic. Desiree. Yeah, so when I got this, when I was starting this one, um, it was definitely after the this skins update with like this various skin tones um, but like I said I wasn't really editing these sims up too much so I didn't really play around with it until I got to my sim which is later on sometimes I forgot to make a name for the sim and I had to go back later <laughs> and randomize their name So this chickadee is a, wants to be a popular goofball or life of the party sim. See, went back and changed her name. Laura Bergman. We're not going to have any teens. But <laughs> Esteban Schmidt. Three, two, wants to be a chief of mischief. And then we got rid of his ambitious trait. I made him erratic. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And then this is the last random sim that we're making. Tyler Nichols. He is a foodie and wants to be a mixologist. And he's romantic and clumsy and erratic. I had the idea of using like the story using the storyboard thing didn't really work because I couldn't change out any of the traits and so I just tried to remember the foodie the bro and the neat freak traits and then I would do the same thing with the randomizer of switching those out so here I'm selecting erratic and then I think as a foodie and a bro. So that's the sim I'm gonna be. 
and my aspiration is 11 and 2. So I want to be a good vampire. And I just thought that was funny because this is the asylum challenge and I want to be a good vampire telling everybody I want to be a vampire and that's how I end up in the asylum. So name's Deadbug. And then this one I actually went into more of the create a sim thing, looking at some of the new pack items. And then I decided we should dress the sims according to their aspirations. So my sim wants to be a vampire. So I'm going to go through the vampire pack. And I'm just looking, you can see how they extended the skins, tones, it's still kind of off. Um, it's really hard to make skins, I guess. I don't know. Um, the Sims gets a lot of slack on their <laughs> their skin tones and features and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm just making the Sim look more like me. And I guess it kind of worked. It's hard looking at yourself on it, like your, your Sim self. Um, but I didn't want to spend too much time customizing my sim too much but yeah just trying to find the right skin tone I'm just really brown on brown on brown and then I have an earring piece an industrial earpiece in my ear but they don't really have that on sims 4 so I just made an eyebrow piercing and then I wear glasses so I put my sim in glasses and I needed to find pants. <laughs> In Sims, there's this weird thing where the colors don't actually always match. Like right here, the blacks don't match. They're not the same shade of black. And it was super frustrating. I was like, why can't the blacks match? They're, they're black. It, they shouldn't have variance in color. But I guess they're trying to imitate different type of clothing textures so those don't always match but yeah why don't the blacks match um, <laughs> and here I am going back through all the other sims Greg wants to live in the town so I use city living and then I use this really cool style tool where they're already all styled up and you just kinda pick a style for them and you don't have to spend so much time combing through the catalogs and Simon, he wants to be a mansion baron. So I went for vintage glamour to see if they had any kind of one on his side. Not too much. Trying to look for something that, like, you know, looks rich, <laughs> um, I guess. But vintage glamour didn't have anything. So, or he had a shirt and just pants. No pants. Mm, white pants, I guess. And then definitely not flip flops. Um, there we go. This guy looks fancy, right? Fancy guy. And then she also wants to live in the city, so I just picked her a city girl pack. I have these weird little stories in my head about each one, like, you know, how she's a young female and she wants to move to the city, so her parents put her in the asylum because she wasn't doing what they wanted her to do, and that's just one of those old things that happen to people. And this trait, this, this aspiration for this guy wasn't associated with any packs, so I just kind of used the new pack, and I thought that was kind of like some guy who thought he was super romantic flair and she wants to be like the life of the party so I thought this one with her original color scheme looked pretty cool on her this guy wants to be a prankster so I figured island living would be a good choice to try and find someone who's like super laid back and just always making jokes you know doesn't take themselves too seriously she wanted to be a mixologist, so 
I just went through a different pack to see how that would work out. Um, and she's wearing a lot of gray, so I tried to find the best gray tone outfit. And I went through a couple with her, trying to figure out which one looked the best. But I really like the one I landed on. Yeah, so these are the gray, trying to see what their gray looks like. This one looked really nice. Um, I believe I come back to this one. Yeah, I'm just scrolling through everything. <laughs> this one, I like this pack the most because it has like that Southwest design and that's where I'm from. So it's nice to see a Southwest design come up every once in a while with the big old turquoise belt and everything. But yeah, I go back to this one because she has the purple headband with the purple shirt. So it kind of matches without changing their style too much. And I know we're not supposed to use any cheats, but when I built the house originally, I made it too expensive, so I couldn't move in right away. And right now I'm using the motherload cheat, and with that you get just 5,000 with every time you enter it. And you can enter it as many times as you want. So I think I entered it like four times, maybe five times, to get over the 200,000. And then I just had us move again. To get the little cheat bar, you push Control Shift C. And then now we have enough money to move into Ghost Beach Mental Resort. And that was kind of my excuse of making it super fancy. And then there's another cheat to where you can put the exact amount of money you want. And when I was reading and looking up this cheat, I got a little confused. I was like, okay, we're going to subtract $2,000. I'm like, oh, wait, no, that's, you want $2,000 in their household funds. So it's money, then the amount you want in their household funds. So I was like, 10000 is good for them to just live off of for a while, since none of them are going to have job. And this is where we're going to end it. I'm just doing some quick little maintenance, making sure that they're on full autonomy just so that they can play around on their own and the next episode will really get started into the asylum challenge so don't forget to like share and subscribe and we hope to see you later we're gonna bye <laughs>